Yes, before this video starts, um, I just let to let you guys know, um, we are in Mexico, and yes, it is green in Mexico. We are doing a lawnmower video today. So, we're in Mexico, we're on private property. All that sweet jazz. So yeah, I just... Alright guys, welcome to today's episode. Should you buy a Simplicity lawnmower? Today's episode, we're going to find out. Usually, you know, you just mow with it. Or, uh, you hook on your little trailer and, you know, take a couple pieces of brush. We got... Probably a face... Uh, I, don't, I don't know what a face cord really is. So I'm assuming this is what it, it really is. Um, we got some wood. Probably about... It's hard to say, but each each log is probably 50 pounds. We probably got a 1,000 pounds on this lawnmower here today. And we're going to be uh, seeing if this thing can tow with it. We got it. And blow all the way. I think I might have just broke that a little bit. I'm not sure. No throttle. And this thing still moves. This big trailer of wood. I, I hate to do this, but I'm going to do a little acceleration test. And it still kicks a little bit. We're going to go half throttle. And, um... Yeah, while you're there, make sure you guys like, subscribe, hit the bell for post notifications. Um... We're just doing a test, uh, your everyday, regular lawn mowing test, uh, should you buy a simplicity lawnmower to haul wood from the woods to, uh, your, uh, your, uh, your log stove or wherever you want to haul your wood, to sell it maybe. Um, well, the first test we're coming up on is, uh, I'm gonna get out to a park, I am going to put a parking brake on, if I can. Um... I know this isn't a steep hill, but this lawnmower kind of struggles and low, low gear or low throttle to get up to this hill. And now uh, we got all this wood, and uh, I'm just gonna see this thro throttle all the way low and creep up this hill. We'll see. We're, we're having a running start. It's slowed down just a little bit, but it took that like a champ. Holy crap. I mean, I, that's, that trailer's full. It's, it's 17, is it what? That trailer's just completely full. We'll turn the throttle up on her a little bit so she can get happy. But, um, that's really impressive. The Simplicity lawnmower. And, uh, this thing's only the... 38, 40, 42 inch deck or something. And, um, it, it, it mows pretty good. I have no complaints. This, uh, whenever you lower the deck, you lower your decks right here. There's a little bit of this giveaway right here. There's just, like, it'll stay there. This, you just start to lift it up, but... And I have it up all the way too, so and it's it's not touching the ground. It's those wheels that touch the ground. So you still have to adjust your lawnmower. But that's I guess my own complaint. This thing even has cruise control. Uh oh, we're losing wood back there. So let's go take a look. Strong bungee straps look good. Nothing to complain about right there. This should be like this though. Yeah, and we didn't lose our, any of our wood either. Um, yeah, I got bungee straps and everything you can think of in the back of this thing. And, uh, it's really quite, uh, smooth. The lawnmower is nice. It even has headlights for mowing at night. It's, uh, it's got your mower blades right here. Your key. Uh, oh, after about, uh, we'll zoom in there to show you guys the now. Has about 764 hours on it, and um, this key gets a little fidgety. This key will fidget a little bit. You can kind of see how it's open. So uh, when you when you start it, um, kind of have to fidget with it a little bit to get it started. But 
It wasn't like that when it was new and it just recently happened. My knee might have hit it or something, but um, yeah, controls. My seat's all the way back. I'm 5'11. The brake, I can push in. My foot's fully extended out. And I got my gas and my reverse, and they're all they're all like perfect. So uh, if you're not any, any more than six foot tall, this is a lot more powerful parking for you. If not, you might want to look into a zero turn. But if you got a small yard and you want a simplicity lawn tractor to cut it, or remove wood. Today's test was to see if we could move a that whole thing of wood. And uh, this thing's doing excellent. It's it's pretty low throttle right now. And it's just chug-a-lugging along. Um, they do kind of have a battery problem. And let me... Let me, uh, let me stop and talk about that real quick. Um, parking brake's a little fidgety. You gotta make sure you push, in it, push it in all the way. kind of go over here and talk about it so it's uh so you can kind of hear me a little better away from lawnmower the idle after i did that idle always stays up a little bit but um the tractor i guess i can turn you around the the simplicity lawn tractor should you buy it for doing just little uh little work around the yard i say heck yeah if you're gonna be towing a crap ton of wood all the time would it be worth to get a side by side that pay 10 grand for it? No, you could just get a $2,000 simplicity lawn tractor that, I mean, this thing's 20 years old or 16 years old, and you could get a little trailer behind it too, and you can haul as much wood every day as you need. The only thing I complain about is you might want to put some little bit of better tires on because they just have turf tires. So if you wanted to use this for mowing, the way it's set up, it's perfect. You could either go buy a brand new one and they'd probably be about the same. Or you could go get a used one. The Simplicity Lawn Tractor um, does overall, I'd give it a 7 out of 10. The room, pretty good. The seat, it's pretty good over bumps. Suspension's not terrible. It mows pretty good. Um, you know, my only complaint is I could get, if this little bit of grass area, if that had like just a little triple of water, I'd get stuck in it. So. If you wanted to do a lot of like backwoods mowing and stuff, I'd definitely get at least some new rear tires on it. But um, other than that, Simplicity Lawn Tractor does good. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and the bell, post notifications. I know it's kind of a thrown, thrown together video. But uh, yeah, anyways, catch you guys next time on Wade Farms.